Uh, Lisbon, Portugal is, uh, you know, it's in that part where the prices are still in the frothy mode. It hasn't yet reached the... So they're going to go even higher, the prices. The prices are going to keep going higher. Hey, welcome back. Portuguese angered at influx of Californians who import their problems with them. In this video, I'm going to show you how this is happening, why it's happening, and I'm going to give you a solution. Now, before we get into all that, I do want to say this is not a new thing for us. We've been talking about these issues for years on our channel. We've got tons of videos about this, and we've even talked about specifically Portugal. And even uh, as recent as two or three years ago, we've made videos uh, when this issue was already happening, and we predicted that it would bubble over. And right now, it's right at that point where it is literally bubbling over and activists are literally getting into the streets and protesting. That's how bad things have gotten in Portugal. The next thing I want to say is that we've made videos outlining how these things come about. And what gave us our experience is that we lived through the ram bubble of cuenca ecuador which ram is retire abroad media and magazines we lived through the bubble they were creating back in 2012 to 2017 we were right in the middle of this very thing that's happening right here right now that we're talking about today so we have first-hand knowledge and we've traveled around different areas and have seen this happening also in places like Panama and recognized how, you know, the, the clues and the things that are happening, we can see it happening around the globe. And this is the other side that a lot of people aren't seeing. Now, it appears is that what's happening is that people don't think they have a problem. They think they are solving their problem by leaving, as you can see in this article, California residents are fleeing to the country of Portugal. Fleeing, that's a word that's used when someone is abandoning a problem. And in many cases, bringing problems. There you go. So they think they're leaving their problems behind, but they're bringing problems that have made life more difficult for the locals, according to a Los Angeles Times report. Story titled, Welcome to Portugal, the new expat haven, Californians, Please go home. This is something that has been happening for well over a decade. The retire abroad media and magazines and just the internet in general is just inundated with this kind of promotion that is now uh, easily accessed by all of these people around the world. And yet, specifically, this article will show you that it is mostly Americans. A story titled, Welcome to Portugal says that the number of Americans, it says right here, living in Portugal, has risen by 45% in the past year. So the article explains that resentment of newcomers is growing. It's not just growing. I'll show you in a second. In Portugal, as California expats have become the, have become the root of questions over gentrification, income disparities, and immigration. In times past, when we have covered these issues, we would run into people that want to shoot the messenger, you know. But as you can see, it has, it's, it's not us. We're not the ones doing it. We're just showing you and telling you. And here you can see Portuguese activists have reportedly taken to the streets to protest. That, what you know, if that's not the absolute bubbling over of a situation when it gets to the point where, I mean, when you hear about activists taken to the streets, it's usually over something very, very foundational and confrontational that usually has to do with human rights and, you know, something that is affecting the life of people to such a degree that they can no longer go forward with it and therefore they take to the streets. And yet, just the simple fact of people wanting to leave their problems behind, people want to leave all the bad things about California and retain them, go to this place over here, like somebody said in the article, well, you know, we've kept all the good parts of California, but ditched all the 
bad parts, and yet we're just creating a bad parts when we go there while believing that we are relieving ourselves of problems. We're actually literally creating the same problem, but this time we're doing it for the locals. But that always comes back to haunt us when we go abroad and do the kinds of things, the way we do these things w without thinking and without any consideration. This does not have to happen. People in our membership area know exactly what to do when they go abroad to avoid these guys. people if people did this as a group you know they don't have to come into my management area but as, as far as I know I don't know anyone else that shows people how to avoid these kinds of situations because initially it always starts out with hey come over here look how low price the rents are but after it's done for a number of years as you can see in this article the rents just keep spiraling and the costs even not just rents the food everything uh, you cannot deny that places like Lisbon have become appealing you know sure there's a great reason to go not saying it's not a nice place but the average Portuguese however person can no longer afford to live you know in the city rents have gone up five times over a few years you know and that's an important point over the basic things such as buying groceries people have to take longer trips going further and further out of the city just to be able to afford food basically the locals are being pushed out the Portuguese government responded by suspending the golden visa program which wealthy foreigners were going for they suspended it and this is the reason why it's being suspended because of everything we just discussed so in Lisbon the capital evictions this is the locals being evicted by rent, uh, landlords because they know they they can raise the rent and get more money from foreigners and then so they literally evict locals you know, you know you're out of here evictions have doubled over the last few years with many blaming uh, foreigners willing to pay more than locals with bank accounts denominated in dollars and pounds uh, it's interesting to note that the article states that the message was Californians go go home and Californians or gringo go home or Americans go home it's interesting because you don't see um, you know Italians go home or um, Bulgarians go home or you know our research tells us that even the English um, behave somewhat differently than the Americans in the sense that even they when they go abroad they look for locally priced rentals this is something that is very unique to Americans and, and I my opinion is that it's because Americans are the least well traveled and they do become uh, in the world and they do become subject to manipulation from the retire abroad media the kinds of videos and articles and and then not just them just the whole internet thing they become easily manipulated by this greener grass syndrome which that's the subject of a different video that's the crux of the conflict and understanding and embracing a solution is to understand and accept that there's a problem and it's been very clear to us for years just because we were in the middle of it and we've been preaching this ever since and so accepting that just because something doesn't seem to be a problem for us we we, we appear to be making our lives better but at the same time we're not making our neighbors lives better we are complicating the lives of the locals and of course the very specific and targeted businesses that gain by all of this of course they're they're all very happy about it but uh, as we can see here they are a minority because there's a lot more uh, you know the commercial establishment in a location is always a smaller percentage than the population at large I do want to say I think that the Californians are getting a bad rap here with them being named in this these titles uh, mostly because not because they're they're not doing this but 
because it's really a high cost of living issue because it, the, the people, the Floridians do the same thing. You know, the, the Canadians, certain Canadians, you know, do the same thing. So it's a high cost of living conflict. And so you're pitting people from some of the highest cost of living in a wealthy nation and piling them into a, you know, much smaller nation that is a much lower uh, cost of living. I mean, you know, if you if you took this scenario and did it to Monaco, you know, yeah, Monaco's tiny, but uh, you know, you see my point. So what can we do about this? Well, whenever there's an issue that we're not aware of and not sure what to do about it, it always comes back to education and consider the source. You don't want to go to the sources that are just blindly promoting, irresponsibly promoting. Remember that places like Portugal are tiny little countries. A lot of these countries are small places like Panama, Ecuador, Portugal. They just have, you know, several million people population. And in places like USA, you've got over 300 million. So even if a tiny percentage of all the millions of retirees, in other words, it just doesn't take any time at all to just overwhelm the place. As you can see, it has nothing to do with my personal opinion. I'm just bringing you the information so that you can be aware that, you know, each and every one of us has a responsibility to do things in a way that we affect the people we live with because the locals are our neighbors. I know that the expats a lot of times they insulate themselves because of language issues. They seek to congregate around and you know and this is another that actually is part of the problem is this idea that you're going to go to a foreign country and you're not even going to make an attempt and you're just going to surround yourself with uh, in, you know English speakers that's always okay in the very first few weeks but afterwards you know you, you want to get acclimated and get in the middle and if you're uncomfortable with that we've always said if the culture is that uncomfortable that you feel you have to insulate yourself and be surrounded by people of your own language and culture all of the time 100 percent of the time then you might be in the wrong place or maybe you know maybe you should rethink your strategy i'm not aware of any other website that does this but you're welcome to get your information anywhere you want but we do happen to have a membership area where we outline all of the issues and how to properly go abroad how to make our move abroad something that affects us in a harmonious way with our neighbors when when we get there and that's the goal that we should all aspire to Thanks for coming to the channel. I hope you got something out of that. Have a wonderful day.